Hey, hey, what's up, Star Wars fans? Hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome to the last in a little group of SH Figure Arts action figure reviews. This time we're looking at Return of the Jedi Darth Vader. And before we get into the figure, I just want to talk about this piece here on the right. Now, this is an official uh, Bandai Tamashii Nations SH Figure Arts line uh, piece. Um, not 100% clear on the background of its release, I believe it was a bit of a pre-order bonus that came with this fader or something like that, an online exclusive piece. Um, I was lucky enough to pick this up when I bought the Vader on on eBay. The seller was packaging this in at a really good price, and uh, I had to snatch it up. It was it was really great, and um, it's a really nice display piece. So we've got here we've got three stairs and a bit of a platform which will serve greatly for uh, the Emperor Palpatine that's going to come out with his throne. So that's going to be a must-have uh, as a centerpiece for this display. And of course, I display Luke and Vader on this on my on my shelf too. So now the cool thing is it does have these holes on it for stands. So if you wanted to, wanted to use stands and really get some overly dramatic poses with these figures, you can absolutely do that. And that's, uh, it's, it's really quite nice. It's pretty sturdy. Um, there's a little bit of a bow, a little bit of flex in these steps, but that's not too big of a problem. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's sturdy. You're not going to have too much weight on them, so it's not going to flex and bend um, like that. But uh, the window here is, that's fantastic. I really like it. Um, it's iconic. Um, Return of the Jedi, you know, Emperor's throne room looks great. It just comes on nice stands. Uh, yeah, doesn't it's not going to fall over. It stands well. Um, you're in a great backdrop too. Uh, I want to get some just some black card like I've got here for the video, and just uh, you know sheet it over the back and use that as a backdrop as well. Because at the moment I've just got it on white shelves and it looks a little bit funny with white behind it. So. I will fix that in uh, in due course, but I just wanted to share that before we get onto the figure. So I'll just move them out of the way very quickly, and we'll talk about Darth Vader now. Um, this is probably my least favourite of my SH Figure Arts collection so far. Um, there's just a few things with this Vader that I'm there's something not quite right for me about it. Um, and I'm certainly eyeing off that new Hope Vader as well that's come out in the last year or so. Um, that one looks particularly good. It's got the soft goods cape, whereas this one's got a plastic mold cape, which it does look nice. It displays well. Um, but there's just a few little few little things that just doesn't quite do it for me. But I do like it. It does, like I said, it displays well. Um, looks good with Luke, uh, the Jedi Luke that I just reviewed. So if you missed that one, go back and check that one out. So my thoughts on that are entirely different. Um, now, uh, with the Luke, you got this alternate head. So basically, if you buy the Luke, they're trying to make you to buy the Vader as well. So mission successful. <laughs> That's all I can say. But this looks really good. So hopefully, the camera's picking up that nice detail. Really nicely done. Really nice, that sort of shading around the eyes. Um, also comes with multiple sets of hands. So we've got two fisted hands. Now the good thing is they did, with this Vader, they re they added in a couple of replacement little pegs like that. Um, I wish more of them came with them because they are prone to breaking, especially on some of the uh, slightly more slender ones. These are... You know, they're a good thickness, so they're not going to break anytime soon. But uh, I've had problems with one um, that I've had to sort of reinforce with a bit of super glue. Um, I just wish they'd add a few of them little spare parts. I know Hot Toys do. Um, I think Sideshow probably do as well on their larger scale figures. But it's nice that they've included them. I uh, just dropped one hand and I can't see where it went, so I'll pick it up later. But uh, there's two of... Two of these open force hands. And there's, of course, his lost 
lost hands after Luke cuts it off. It also comes with his hilt. Which is nice. It doesn't have anything to attach it to his belt or anything, so you can't sort of have him not holding it. Um, but that's okay. And I'm just dropping things all over the place, so we'll get on with the figure and hopefully I don't send this flying. Alright, so I'm going to bring this up as close as I can. So, to me, I'm just going to re remove this lightsaber so we can have a look at the figure. Anyway, yeah, I might as well show you. So this is one piece. Uh, a lot of SH figure arts have the split pieces, but this one is one solid, nice, bright crimson blade. Looks good. Um, slightly longer than Luke's as well, which is cool. But it looks nice. Alright, onto the figure. I'm just going to move his arms down. And you sort of look at the broadness of his shoulders. Um, it just appears to me that the sort of head sculpt under the helmet, it just feels a little bit small. It's not quite uh, at scale. It just looks a little bit, a little bit small on certain angles. Um, it could just be me, but um, yeah, it's just there's just something that's a little off about it. But it still it still looks good. They've still done a good job. It's just yeah, just a little bit off scale, I think. I have actually glued the cape on. Um, that tends to, there were two little pegs, sort of just in the back here that slotted into his back. But it was very because of the weight of the cape, it's quite heavy and it was quite loose to sort of flopping around and popping out all the time, um, leaving this sort of plastic molded chain here on his cape sort of loose and sort of hanging hanging from that so I've also sort of put a few couple of little tiny little spots of super glue underneath the chain and glued that to his chest um, I don't foresee myself ever needing to take the cape off so that's fine um, that's not a big deal for me so um, it improved the aesthetic of the figure for me as well greatly um, so I decided to go ahead with that another thing I'm not crazy about and it was the same with the Django Fair is this extra sort of shoulder piece here it's just a little bit I don't know what it is there's just something about it and can you know it just sort of sticks out I know it's not I know it adds to the articulation but you know the arm sort of does provide a lot of articulation I think you probably could have done that a little differently um, so again, I'm looking forward to the getting the A New Hope version and seeing seeing what they've done to improve it. Because um, I haven't actually looked at any reviews. I'm, I'm getting, going to do that though. But overall, the detail on the figure is pretty decent. The paint's always clean on SH Figure Arts. They always do a reasonably good job. Um, I mean, the sculpt of the cape is really nice. But... I don't know, I just feel like nice soft goods would have flowed a little bit better, particularly with this sort of under cape here, which is in three parts. So it allows no hindrance of the articulation. It sort of splits and moves up with the legs. Again, we've got these funny legs that will drop down so you can add that extra movement. Boots look good. Um, I'm not a fan of the sort of glossiness of the plastic they've used on his undersuit, especially around his pants and through his arms there. I feel like it's a, a little bit much, but uh, again, like I said, this is a this is a reasonably early release um, for the Star Wars line from SH Figure Arts. But yeah, it's good detail anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'll pop this head off. Now this is really frustrating. Is um this little there's a little double joint, double ended ball pin thing here in his neck. Now when I put the Anakin Skywalker head on, the hole in the head there is a bit tighter than the Vader. So 
there's a very ch slight chance that if I pull this out, the peg will come out with that, and then it's really tricky to get that out. So I have to get some tweezers and pop them out. But I will do that anyway. So we've had a good look at Vader. So if I can't get it off, then I can just sort of leave it as Anakin. So that fits reasonably nicely. It feels a little bit high up, but... It's still kind of nice. It looks good. Still allows for a little bit of movement. I mean, if you're planning on displaying, displaying him like this, you're probably just going to have him laying down <laughs> anyway. Because he's about to die. So it does look quite nice on, on, on the body there. But again, like I said, we'll see if this works. Yep, it did it. So that is quite tight in there, so I'm gonna have to pop that pop that back in afterwards. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. So that is Darth Vader from SH Figure Arts. Of course, I didn't. I neglected to mention that he has two sort of lightsaber holding hands, as which is what he's got in his hand right there, which is what I've got on the figure. <laughs> and there goes the head. <laughs> so I'm just going to rest this one on top. I've got some things to pick up. And thanks for checking it out guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll be back with some more very soon. So until then, stay tuned, and, until, and as always, may the force be with you.